Reddit. What's the harshest thing you've heard a child say, with complete obliviousness to how harsh it is? When I was a kid, 11, my father was hospitalized with cancer. I was at a friend's house, playing video games. His little brother, about 5 at a time, asked why are you happy right now? Your dad is gonna die. That wasn't a happy day. Yours will too, you little crap. My daughter was around 5 and was oblivious to the adult themes of Spaceballs. She loved the movie for all of its wackiness. When all of the extended family got together once, she decided it would be a good time to be funny. Buttholes. I'm surrounded by buttholes. Damn it. You accidentally had my kid. Give it back. We were taking group photos. Me, my husband and his two kids. We all posed for a few. Then my 8 year old stepson says okay, now let's take some with just the family, ouch. My stepmom would always take photos of all of the whole family and then one without me and my brother. The ones of all of us would go in books and the ones of just them would go on the wall. Apparently, when I was little I walked up to a friend of my mother's and said my you're looking fat today in a nonchalant voice. This one is my favorite. It's like you were trying to make normal, adult conversation but failed miserably. My gran took my cousin to the shop when she was a lot younger. My cousin had previously asked our gran why she didn't wear trousers. And my gran said that it was because she was too fat. My cousin pointed at a woman larger than my gran in the shop and said, Loudly, granny, that lady's wearing trousers and she's much fatter than you. My gran had dementia towards the end of her life. We took her to the movies one night and as we were leaving we noticed a very large woman walking just ahead of us so my gran said, rather loudly, that woman's backside is 5x handles across cringe. Standing in line at Best Buy on Christmas Eve, my then 4 year old cousin tapped the very, very large black man with a full grill in front of us, put her hands on her hips, and said man, I don't know what is up with your teeth. But I think I like it. I think that is the exact reaction that people with grills are looking for. Used to work as a cashier at a pharmacy. Little girl comes up and says what's wrong with your face. You look like a monster. Born with cleft lip and palate. You should tell kids that you're half cat. Mom. Come give me a hug. Three year old child. No. Mom. AWW if you don't give me a hug I'm going to cry. Child, cry a little bit then. That kid will not be guilted into crap. Can't wait to see them react to high school breakups. Mom, why do so many fat people wear shirts in the pool? You can still tell that they are fat. Me, unaware that my friend's older brother, standing directly behind me, was about to get in with not one, but two shirts on. My 5 year old daughter asked how our pregnant neighbor's baby was going to get out and I gave her a brief, bit factual, explanation. She was surprised that something so big could pop out of someplace so small, and I confirmed her suspicion that childbirth, including hers, was painful. She shook her head sympathetically and said, well it's too bad babies don't come out your butt, because yours is so big it wouldn't hurt at all. Self repost, but perfect for this topic. My mom says that when I was little, my dad asked me isn't your mom the prettiest mom in the whole world and I replied no, but I love her anyway. I think that's sweet. In grade 4, my slightly overweight teacher mentioned offhandedly that she went to the gym. One of my classmates piped up, in an incredulous tone. You? Go to the gym? Silence from the teacher. So much awkward. I think when you're in grade 4 you know when you're hurting someone's feelings. My best friend's wife died a year ago from a brain aneurysm. Recently his 3 year old daughter looked at both of us and said daddy I want to die so I can go see mommy. Overall the saddest day of my life was at the hospital with him when he told all 3 of his children, all under 10, that their mom was dead. Jesus Christ man, that's quite possibly one of the saddest things I've ever read. My ex-wife came from the backwoods of White Hickville, Florida Panhandle. She had to drive into the city to go to the DMV, and took her 3 year old son. He saw his first black person in town, and announced loudly to the room, Look mama, a chocolate man. She said the guy laughed it off and got down to his level to talk to him while they waited in line. But she was so mortified she could barely speak. 
I had finished showering my then 2 year old son and had just finished my own shower. My son comes running up to and says excitedly dad I have a penis I then responded yes son all boys have a penis. Dad has one just like you do. At which point he says no daddy I have a big penis. As a fellow grower, I really despise showers, even if they are 2 years old. I wrote about this before but my daughter said he probably tripped over his vagina when her uncle asked why his son, her cousin, was crying. She had just learned the word and used it all the time. This is pure gold. I'm so using this. My ex cheated on me. She made me sad. One of my sons went up to her weeks later when she was dropping off their half brother and said straight to her have you said sorry to daddy yet? My little boys totally have my back. My 4 year old said you are a bad man for making mommy cry, she loved you very much, and you brocketed her heart, cheating ex of course. <laughs> mommy, why don't play with me or buy me as much toys as other parents do, might seem like a little but I was a struggling single mother who did everything to put a smile on my son's face, seeing his face when he said that really put a knife through my heart. <laughs> when I was 9. I told my Jewish grandfather that the fact that he didn't celebrate Christmas was why Hitler wanted to kill him. It all makes sense now. Hitler was only trying to save Christmas. I saw a young kid ask a soldier why aren't you normal? Why do you have robot arms? He was a double amputee. Kid didn't mean it in a bad way, but the soldier was fresh out of the hospital and still not adjusted well. Very awkward and sad. Soldier didn't hold it against the kid. I honestly hope the kid doesn't remember. If I grew up later and realized what I said, I'd feel a huge need to somehow apologize to that guy. My cousin was about 3 year when an overweight woman sat down near him in a train. He then asked loudly, Mommy, why does that woman stink so bad? Cause she can't reach her butt to wipe. Honey, now pinch your nose shut. We're almost home. In a cafe, when I was 4, I once asked my mum why the black man sitting next to us hadn't washed his dirty face. Everybody was mortified. My cousins and I were taking a walk around a neighborhood while playing the car points game. You get more or less points for different types of cars you spot. Their version included a lot of things other than cars, including runners. I argued that runners weren't worth points, and that it wasn't fair. This prompted my cousin to shout out hey you. Runner you're worthless I then continued the shout, yeah, even that car over there is worth something, but you're not, you're just a human, you have no worth. The runner stopped and stared at us in a scared manner, I believe he thought we were a much more existential lot than we were. I used to babysit 3 kids 2 years ago, there was one named Chase that would scream at the top of his lungs and then squint his eyes and ever so calmly say, I'm gonna cut you, he was 3. That's. That's terrifying. I don't know why, but it is. When my brother, he was about 7 at the time, met my great uncle, a World War II hero who lost his arm in battle when a grenade exploded nearby. He said can I ask you something why didn't you duck my great uncle laughed pretty hard and spent the rest of the day playing with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures with us. Don't remember how old I was but I told my pregnant neighbor I was going to punch her in the stomach and kill her baby when she was babysitting me and told me it was bedtime. Still feel bad about that one. A decade later. I actually did punch my pregnant mother in the tummy when she made me mad. Don't know if I was trying to punish her by killing the baby, but it didn't work. I like mommy more than you. Heard a child say that to her dad in a park. I know a lot of kids have a stronger bond with their mother but that would have crushed me. Conversation between some 8 year old in my in-law family and her grandma. A few weeks after her grandfather died. Grandma, it's raining so hard it looks like heaven is open. 8 year o, if heaven is open, can granddaddy fall down from there? Grandma, he won't fall, he is just a weightless spirit now. 8 year o, I don't think he is weightless. It took 6 people to carry the coffin. I went to pick up my daughter from my in-laws and my daughter turned to me and said, Mommy, I want you to leave right now. I don't want you. I want you to leave without me. Killed me. If it helps, it's possible she was just having such a good time that she didn't want to leave, and the only way she thought to express it was by wishing you hadn't shown up when you did. When I was about 5 or 6, 
my mom had skin cancer. My best friend at the time, same age, said quite matter of factly you know that means she's going to die. Right complete monotone, no emotion. Obviously, I was crushed and I didn't say anything to my mom about it for like 2 weeks. Because I thought it was some huge secret and I didn't want to make my mom upset in her final days. However, 2 weeks was a heck of a long time. And the fact that she wasn't in the hospital worried me. I broke down crying and asked how long she had left. Mom was really upset and called my friend's mom to rectify the situation. I think my friend got lectured and grounded for her bluntness. Please follow this up with an and she didn't actually die but recovered. I hope. I did not say anything but one time I drew a huge swastika on a giant, foggy window in a full hotel lobby, saw it on TV once, parents not amused. My English brother and I once got told off by our parents for shouting bombs away while jumping into a swimming pool in Germany. I used to live in an apartment complex and one day I was walking to the parking lot and this kid, about 2-3 years old was yelling down at me from a third story balcony. I'd never seen this kid before. Kid, hey, hey, hey you, me, hey, what's up, buddy? Kid, I don't love you, hey, I don't love you, me, um, okay, I don't love you either. What an butthole thing to say to somebody. When I was seven, I walked up to my mom who was in the garden. I asked her, mommy, why are you crying she ignored me. Mommy, why are you crying? You know daddy says mean things. Why are you crying? At that point she realized she couldn't hide what my dad was doing. She thought she was. She also got a divorce after years of abuse. I don't even remember saying that. My mom recounted this for me. My little sister once asked the rest of the family, why are old people allowed to vote if they're going to die soon anyway? My family was temporarily speechless. She makes a good point. As a toddler, I asked my mother, do those cracks in your face hurt? I was asking about her wrinkles. It's a story I'll never live down in my family. My 4 year old daughter was making a get well card for my old grandmother. When she finished drawing, I asked her what message she wanted to write on the inside. Her response, dear great grandma, you're not dead yet. Stealing this for all future get well soon cards. Thank you. Me age 4, dad I want to be just like you when I grow up, dad and mum together, awww that's very sweet comrade edge me, yeah cause mum doesn't do anything, stay at home mum, apparently my dad removed me from the room very quickly before my mother could explode equals p, mother and little boy, 5 or 6, walking in the parking lot towards a liquor store with him pulling her and crying, mommy, no, no, you don't need any alcohol, do be so quick to judge. My dad used to take me on errands all the time and I hated it. Whenever we had to stop by the liquor store to pick up wine as a gift or something, I would make a huge fuss just to make him look bad. Sweet revenge. I used to teach second grade. I put on a coat. Kid, why are you putting your coat on? Me, because I'm cold. Kid, how can you be so cold if you have so much fat and blubber? 1. My mom has moles on her face. A 2 year old was laying with her on the couch, pointing at each mark and blemish asking what they were. That's a mole, what about that one also a mole, and so on for 5 minutes. Then he takes her face in his hands in a serious way and says, your face is a mess. 2. Two weeks after I had my baby, my friend's son asked me, is there another baby in your belly ouch, little sucker? My 5 year old son caught me crying this week after we got the news that our 11 year old chocolate lab had cancer and needed to be put down. He asked me why I was sad and I explained that Casey was sick and would die soon. His answer, it's okay daddy don't be sad we can just buy another dog. Years ago, I woke up very late for work and still needed to get my 4 year old to daycare. I said to her something to the effects of hurry up, we have to leave. We don't have time for anything. I'm not even putting makeup on. Let's go. She said something to the effect you cannot take me to school if you're not wearing makeup that would be embarrassing. My mother at the store with my 3 year old brother, who she's be desperately trying to potty train to little effect for months. Bro, I want smarties. Mom, I can only afford either diapers or candy. Your choice. 
Bro, better get diapers then. Look dad, I'm totally freaking up that mother. Yeah yeah, that's good son. A 6 year old playing GTA saw in a house that clearly had more means than will to raise a kid. Felt awkward the whole time I was there. To be fair, M need to be fricked up. My wife worked with a woman who had a very low level position. Below CNA I think, at a hospital. The women's husband had ran off with a young girl and left her with 6 kids. She was living in a single wide trailer and not really making it. They were friends so we decided we would go grocery shopping for her. Bought her a few hundred bucks worth of stuff and drove it to her house. She was so happy she was in tears. Then one of our twins, who is about 6 at the time, pulls on her mom's shirt and say very loudly, Wow mom you were right, they are really poor. She was very cool about it but you could tell her feelings were really hurt. My neighbor was having trouble parking her car, so she knocked on my door and asked me to do it for her. She had cut the wheel too soon getting into the space, and was unable to get the door open to get her kid out. She apparently was a new driver and was having problems backing out to try again. So I climb in the car to repark it, the kid is in her car seat in the back and what does she say? Are you my daddy? If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.